it's Friday afternoon, it's um, about 3 o'clock, the A303 is flowing very much as it does and here you have the rat runners coming down the B3083 trying to pull out into the traffic. Cars are going back probably a quarter of a mile, half a mile back towards Shruton. We'll pull away and look at the um, eastbound direction. There's a continuous flow of traffic, but being Friday, uh, most of the traffic is actually heading west, off to the west country. We're quite likely to have a, an accident here, it happens all the time. Um, I won't stay around too long, so I don't want to be responsible for causing one by the Muppets trying to see what's going on. We have the filling station on the 303. Car tow trying to turn right into the garage, loads of cars on the forecourt, almost impossible to get his backside in so the traffic will be held up still more. Um, if you look up the hill, and we'll try and zoom in, you'll see the traffic is at a st standstill, travelling both east and west on that stretch of the road. Back to the junction with the B3083, the um, speed camera you can see hasn't worked in years, none of the speed cameras in Wiltshire do, um, as the Wiltshire Council were not getting revenues um, from catching speeders. It was all going nationally, so they switched them all off. Chaos on the garage forecourt. The next car wanted to turn left off the A303. Can't see what they're going into, and we'll have to pull to a halt. On the right, we've got a car trying to leave our village. No one's going to let him out without a fight. Um, when the traffic's flowing freely, it's tra travelling too quickly to get out safely, and when it's travelling slowly, Everyone's pissed off and really don't want to let you. So we'll just stay here and see what happens. Let's hope they do it safely. I've seen the kids in the village have to use every day to try and get to and from the school bus. Most of the time the HGVs have great difficulty in stopping because they'd like to come down the hill doing 60 in a 40 zone so they can get up the hill on the other side. Quite often the HGVs will wait at the bottom of the next hill until they have a clear run to the top, further increasing the traffic jams. So here we go, someone wants fuel, we'll see what happens. Amazing how the presence of a camera uh, stops the traffic. Eastern end of the village. I would walk down the footpath, but you're taking your life into your hands. The bridge is way too narrow for a rural trunk road. Um, you're likely to get taken out by the wing mirror of a truck going past. It really is taking your life into your hands. Added to which, the, uh, there are signs of concrete cancer and rotting rebar under the bridge itself on this carriageway, which carries up to a thousand HGVs a day in front of that one almost got rear-ended. These motorists would think if they knew the state of what they were driving over. Um, it really <laughs> beggars belief. But hey-ho, uh, they pay their road tax, they expect the roads to be nice and safe. Well, here we are, um, hiding behind the telephone box in the hope of seeing what really goes on with cars coming out from the B3083. Um, if they see you with a camera, they tend to behave much more rationally, just like that. But when they can't see the camera, look what's going on. No one's going to let him in. The procession of cars um, coming down the B3083 continues. Blue one trying to get out, brown won't let him in. White won't, white car won't let him in. He's going to go forward force his way through. Yeah. And this is happening hour after hour after hour. Red one trying to get out. All it takes is one car to stall and we have yet another crash on this junction. 